Hey everybody, it's Busy Little Bee. Welcome back to my channel. I freaking knew it. I knew it. As soon as I heard that Foodie did a domestic goddess vlog, I'm like, Breezy's gonna be all over that shit and she is gonna be making fun of her. And uh, when she does, I have something for her. <laughs> because, you see, a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, Breezen said this. Would we ever see a video of Foodie doing this? Let's be honest. On the floor cleaning her baseboards. Like, let's just be honest for a moment. Yeah. It'd be nice to see her do something different and clean, right? Like. So when she gets the content she asked for, right? She said she wanted to see Foodie cleaning, right? She did everything she could to make fun of it. And just, you can hear the hate and like vitriol in anything she says to Foodie. And please, please keep me accountable and never, ever, ever let me turn into this. Because if I stop laughing and stop having fun with this shit, I'm done. I'm done. If I am so angry that like I'm just taking every shot at someone I could, it's time to log off. It's time to take a break. It's time to go out and get some fresh air and remember what's good about life. Because <laughs> this is absolutely insane. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these clips. So, okay. I was going to have a foodie free day because I'm really into this like TikTok series right now. <laughs> but she just uploaded a video where I guess she's going to pretend to be a domestic goddess. So I figure we could laugh at her for a little bit. We could try. <laughs> we could watch her attempt to try to do anything. I landed on a weird part and she was doing laundry and I just about fell over and died then because I didn't think she did any laundry ever. <laughs> I'm surprised she knew enough to clean out the lint. Wow. This you? This you? This you? This you? This you? You know what? Maybe this weekend we could do part two of the bathroom. Because now I feel like our mom does something and like I really want to get behind the toilet and clean. I need to... Under the sink is where everything goes to die in our house. Like... You forget about it, it's under there. Like, I wanna clean this out. Um, we have more to do, but like at least the bathroom's cleaner, right? Your hands, I don't know what you did to them, but they usually look worse. And your ring, I'm glad we finally got a close up. Um, did he put it in like one of the like little machines? You know, when you go to the store, you drop your quarter in, you can get a little ring or a gumball. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. You're right, that probably didn't come in a blue box, did it? Oh, but you didn't get what was supposedly in your blue box either, did ya? <laughs> I don't know why you think you can dunk on people who are married for being married. <laughs> it's funny. It's kind of a hot mess. Well, so is your comment. So, I guess we're even, right? My hair is a hot mess, you're being rude. We're good. But would you say that to somebody at the store who's just like there? No offense, I don't really like your hair. Like, you could be honest, but um, this isn't that kind of a chat where we roast each other. Like, I'm doing a cleaning the bathroom with me. Like, I'm not trying to pretend to be a beauty influencer or anything. This you? This you? This you? This you? This you? For whatever you have today. Don't think about the past. Don't think about the future. Whatever you have today that Allah has blessed you with, think about it. And really appreciate it. Well, he definitely didn't bless you with good skin. And I think you need to read more of that. But thank you. I'm using like this face stuff that's like peeling my face and it's supposed to help my wrinkles. But like right now on camera, like it's so noticeable, I guess, because it's like so dry right there. Um, and to be honest, if you're going to be that rude, like I don't really want you to hear it anyways. Like that's not how we act around here. You're not at all embarrassed you don't fit at the dining room set that your fake husband bought for Kay Bella, so you have to roll a chair into the kitchen? Aren't you embarrassed to be known as the pick-me of Girl World? I mean, you're basically a lol cow at this point, but go off. Little side area of the sink always gets dirty with like sand dust because I keep the window cracked a bit, so I always have to wash the, the little bits of sand off. Fun fact about living in sand dust and cat hair in your food. Step right up, folks. 
I really hate that I always have to stand up for this vile, trash foodie. I don't like her. However, Breezy, have you never lived in the desert? Have you never lived in the desert and had your windows open? Because guess what? That's a thing. And because someone has a cat, they're going to have cat hair in their food. Did I miss something? Because, like, I have no idea what the hell she's talking about there. But, damn, this girl has hated on everything. <laughs> I can't. What's funny is I read on Twitter that when Foodie was doing her dishes, she left them, like, sitting face up instead of, you know, face down or standing up in a rack. And did Breezy talk about that? Hell no. She just wants to talk about how Salah cheated and everybody knows it, and how Foodie is too big to fit at her table, and how her ring looks like it came out of a gumball machine, and oh my gosh, she knows how to clean out a lint trap. Breezy seems to be under the misconception that she is a reactor and not a lol cow. She has zero brain power and zero wit and those things are kind of needed to be a successful reactor. However, she has acted like a low cow. We see how thin-skinned she is. We see that she's a Karen. We see that she's easily triggered. We see that she will come on here in rage. We see that she uses the shields of her quote-unquote recovery and her daughter. And, you know, this is just... The evolution of a lol cow. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Here's some funny clips to take us out. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. I'm going to go get my sweepy sweepy and my moppy moppy. I'll be right back. I don't know, but you made me feel better about myself because I've accomplished way more than you have in the multiple hours I've been up. <laughs> Do you understand you're in no position to judge? You are the scum of the earth. We all know Foodie Beauty watches my channel. Hi, Foodie. You hearing some hard truths tonight? Stay mad. Stay mad, baby. Orlick Red and I have been dating. And um, he's somebody I love very much. He's somebody my daughter loves very much. Um... Bitch. Busy little bee, I will have to congratulate you and thank you on this coverage of the story that nobody ever wants to hear. That's about Breezy, uh, breezy and uh, Garlic Bread. I am all over anytime you drop some content. <laughs>